why was the holy quran revealed in arabic and as you have rightly pointed out the arabic language as such should be taught from childhood for obvious reasons what is the irf doing to achieve this end in the existing context of the system of education in our country mc abbas business and secretary of arabic academy hyderabad the first question posed was why was the holy quran revealed in arabic and second is what efforts is the irf making in this field the holy quran though it is meant for the whole of human kind for the whole of humanity the reason it was even arabic is because the holy quran was revealed in arabia and it had to be revealed in the language of that land it can't be revealed in a foreign language similarly even the previous revelation like torah zabur injil they were revealed in hebrew in the language of that land so when the revelation comes in a land it should be in the language of that land point number 2 that since it was revealed to the last and final messenger prophet muhammad peace be upon him but natural it had to be in his mother tongue if the quran was revealed in a language which was foreign to the messenger on whom it was revealed then surely those people who knew the language better those people whose mother tongue was the language of the quran surely they would approach the prophet and say that what will you explain to us about a book whose language is a mother tongue and it's not your mother tongue so but natural it had to be revealed in the language which was familiar which was the mother tongue of the last and final messenger prophet muhammad peace be upon him which was arabic besides that arabic though it's an ancient language yet it is a living language there are more than 150 million people who yet today speak arabic more than 150 million people the other languages in which the other scriptures are present like sanskrit ancient hebrew aramaic all these are dead languages only a handful of scholars know these languages so if anyone wants to change that scripture it's very easy no one will come to know but today suppose someone wants to change the arabic quran it will be impossible there are more than 150 million people who know arabic as a language though it's ancient is a living language i said in my talk that arabic is a rich language every word has got a deep meaning sometimes you may require several words or even sentences to describe its meaning the arabic many words in it have got several meaning many a time more than one imply for example the first two verses of the holy quran to be revealed from surah iqra or surah alaq chapter 96 verse number 1 and 2 was iqra bismi rabbika allazi khalaq khalaq al insana min alaq the arabic word iqra it means read it also means recite it also means proclaim the arabic word rab besides meaning lord it also means sustainer and cherisher and provider the arabic word khalaqa has got another few meanings beside meaning creator it can mean something which is created from nothing it can mean something which is created from pre existing material khalaqa also means to plan to program khalaqa also means to make smooth the arabic word alaqa it means congealed out of blood it means something which clings it means a leech like substance so if i have to translate correctly i'll have to translate the words of iqra bismi rabbik allazi khalaq khalaq al insana min alaq as read recite proclaim in the name of your lord cherisher sustainer provider who created who planned who programmed who made smooth khalaq khalaq al insana min alaq who created the human being from something which clings a leech like substance a congealed lot of blood difficult arabic language is rich therefore in short way telegraphic message it can convey a lot of message there are various ways of reading the quran one is tadabbur e quran reading superficial meaning one is tadabbur e quran having a deep meaning you read the arabic portion of the quran even if you read a thousand times you won't get tired you will enjoy it the more you read and besides that if you analyze that arabic to write arabic it requires less space for example if 
I write Muhammad. Meme, ha, meme, doll. Pata dama comes on top, top down, pata dama kasra. I want to repeat meme letter, just for a shadda, shortcut. If I have to write in English, I have to write M U H U M M E D or M O H A M M A D. If you analyze the time taken, the space taken, the ink taken, and the energy taken to write Arabic as compared to English language and other language, it is one third to half. Less space required, less ink required, less energy, less time. And just because the Quran was revealed in Arabic, that does not mean it is not meant for the full world, for the whole of humanity. Suppose a French doctor, he does a research in French regarding the treatment of a certain disease. That does not mean that treatment can't be used in USA and India. It can be used. And if someone wants to analyze that treatment, he can either learn French as a language and analyze the research, or he can have the translation read. Similarly, the Arabic Quran was revealed for the whole of humankind. They can either learn Arabic, or they can read the translation to acquire the guidance. Hope that answers the question. Next question, why do some...